Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. And today Apple dropped iOS 16.3 and it's out now for all iPhones capable of running iOS 16. As always, I wanna go over everything that's new in the update. So if you're excited, drop a like, hit subscribe so you stay up to date and let's go ahead and jump in. So kicking things off, first up is a new wallpaper that Apple's added. It's the new black Unity wallpaper, which last year was a download, but this year is actually built into iOS 16.3 natively. So just go down here to add a new wallpaper. You can see the version from last year, which was strictly red, black, and green the colors of the Pan-African flag, and one additional color option that also included yellow. But this year, Apple stepped it up quite a bit, not only with a more complicated design and pattern that I really like, but way more color options and customization than there was before. I think it's a really good looking wallpaper. It's super cool to see Apple add new ones throughout the year. And once you set your wallpaper pair, I recommend tapping on your home screen and customizing it to be blurry, because then when you go back, you get this really nice effect that just makes your icons and text pop on the home screen. Next up, if you want the highest level of security possible on your iPhone, go over to settings, scroll down, and enable advanced data protection, which essentially makes sure all of this, including messages, backups, Safari bookmarks, photos, and more are fully encrypted end-to-end, -end, meaning not even Apple has access to your data. And while this has been available on iPhone since iOS 16.2, it's now available globally and has expanded outside of the US, which is a major, major win here. Now, you've also got a new feature in 16.3 that does add support for new types of account recovery keys, which specifically include physical recovery keys that you essentially plug into your iPhone or tap near with NFC to confirm that you have this additional level of verification that you are, well, you. Just keep in mind that in doing so, you do get the highest level security by, again, not even Apple being able to help you recover data. So if you lose your iCloud password with that setting turned on, you're done. The data's gone forever. Next up in iOS 16.3 is support for Apple's newest HomePod. So if you plan on picking one of these up, you just have to update to iOS 16.3 and then support is there natively now. Now the overall device here, right? I've talked about this in a previous video, so check that out in case you haven't already. Well, it's essentially the same as Apple's last HomePod, but with a faster chip inside and updated LED screen on the top. And most importantly, a new recycled mesh. No, I'm kidding. There is a cool humidity temperature sensor built in now. But actually this new humidity sensor is also available in the current generation HomePod mini. So if you have one of that and you update that and your phone to iOS 16.3, you can actually go into the app and see the temperature and humidity of your home or whatever room the HomePod is in. And it's actually really cool. Now also new in iOS 16.3 is an update to emergency SOS. Apple says that when you hold down the power and the volume up or down button, which will initiate this call, it's gonna get really loud in a second, I'm sorry. You now have to release them to initiate the call. So before it would just automatically call. But now if you keep- to call emergency services. Yeah, as you can see, basically if this Release is just, <laughs> if this is in your pocket, it is gonna keep doing this. So this is an entirely new way it works because obviously there'd be inadvertent calls if it's just hitting something in your pocket. So that's how it works now. Obviously don't mess around with this because you can actually call emergency services and you don't wanna waste their time. But that update's really interesting and will actually probably help the call centers a lot with false positives. Now, of course, iOS 16.3 also adds a number of bug fixes and other changes as well. Starting off with the Freeform app, there is an issue where strokes created with your Apple Pencil or finger, they might not show when you're sharing the artboard with other folks. Randomly, your wallpaper would just appear black on the lock screen even if you didn't have the always on display black mode enabled, so Apple's updated that. One of the more notable fixes in iOS 16.3 is that Apple fixed this weird issue that you might have seen floating around online, where on the iPhone 14 Pro Max specifically, there'd be these weird horizontal lines that made your screen look like it was totally borked. Luckily, as we suspected, this was just a software issue that Apple was able to correct in this update, so if you been seeing this on your 14 Pro Max, give it an update and everything should be fine. And really just nice to know that this isn't a more serious hardware issue on the 14 series. If you use the home widget on your lock screen, it should accurately show your home app status now rather than showing you something else. Siri's also got some fixes in iOS 16.3 where music requests should be responded to properly and some CarPlay Siri requests just wouldn't be understood at all. And this comes on top of a number of additional security updates that definitely make this worth updating updating to. You can check these out over on Apple's link that they always provide. You can see there's a, there's quite a bit here that Apple patched and fixed vulnerabilities to. I don't want to waste your time going through it because frankly, I don't have the knowledge to actually give you context about what all of these mean. I just know that they're definitely important. So let me know your thoughts on iOS 16.3 that is out right now alongside other updates for your Mac, your watch, your HomePod, your Apple TV. And tomorrow, new Macs actually come out. The new
new MacBook Pros and Mac Minis are dropping, so stay tuned for coverage there. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing well. Hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.